Sydney, the opening ceremony was one of the most unbelievable moments I've had in my career. Uh, it felt like there was a billion people in the stand instead of just 100,000. Everyone was in green and gold. Uh, and the, the cheer was so deafening, like you couldn't hear anything else around you. It was so exciting. Uh, through all the experiences, 12 years of putting my life on hold, and I think the older I get, the more perspective I put on what I've actually got around my neck. Uh, I did speak to the softball team this year before they started. Uh, I was just sort of telling them to not look too far ahead, to look at, enjoy the experience because it was going to be one of the most unique ones. I'll be talking about it in 20, 30, 40 years time. Um, it is special to be an Olympian uh, and it's an opportunity they would have got for only 15 more softballers to join our little community. I guess the array of sports, I'm, I'm quite excited about turning on the TV and seeing things like skateboard and surfing and um, I think just in general it's become a bit more an X Games combined with an Olympic Games but I understand with everything tradition has to change at some point and, and we want young people to be involved in sport, uh, I'm all for it so I just think it's a great thing to see so many other different sports and uh, it's what the kids are interested in these days so I think we have to go out there and do what they need. Uh, I think it was just the general excitement she'd be having about being in an Olympic final um, and just knowing that anyone who knows Maddie, anyone who's had anything to do with Maddie, uh, they will be supporting her and I think she just needs to recognise that, that no matter what happens tomorrow that she's going to put her best foot forward and uh, I think at BDC here everyone will know it's become a household name. So go Maddie.